Hey Winksters, what's up? My name is Tyler and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now, today is August 22nd. It's a Saturday. It's my birthday. I'm turning 21. Cheers. It's cranberry juice. Now, I thought, because it is my birthday, that I wanted to make a video and show you guys a project I've been working on for like a really long time. I just thought, why not? It's my birthday. Let's do it. So, here it is. Now, in case that made no sense to you, or you're just confused right now, I apologize. However, I'll explain it, so that way you're not confused anymore. It's great, right? Right? That's how this works. Anyways, so, that little video clip thing that I made is basically to tell you guys, I made, I'm, I made merch. I made merch. I made some t-shirt designs, and... You can buy them now, and I'm very proud of them, and I'm wearing one right now. This is the... I, I love this design. Now, um, okay, so I am going to... Before I show you guys all the designs that I made, because I made more than just the ones in that video, and obviously I'm wearing one that wasn't in that video, so obviously I made more. Um, but before I get into showing you all the different designs that I made, I wanted to talk a little about, like... Um, about them because I'm very excited right now. Now, the very first thing I wanted to talk about was why I am selling them through Redbubble, which, by the way, link is in the description down below if you want to go check them out after you're done watching this video or right now if you're that excited, like, by all means, go ahead. Um, but I decided to go to Redbubble for a few reasons. I started working on these designs about a year ago, and the very first one I designed was the The Line is Busy midge shirt. And at the time, it was just kind of like a, how would it look if I made a t-shirt? And I really liked it, and I was like, you know what, I want to actually make shirts and merch and stuff like that. So I started looking into it about doing, like, buying the merch myself, and then just, like, selling it to you guys and doing it that way. Um, for, there were a few issues with that. One, it was like super expensive, like, you have no idea how expensive it is to make merch. Oh my god, it was so expensive. Um, and also I just didn't like how limited the products were and how little I was going to be able to do with it. So, I researched some of these kind of like upload and print sites like Redbubble. Um, and Redbubble definitely had probably the highest quality that I could find and the largest array of products, which is just amazing so you can get things in like backpacks and coasters and posters and shirts and stickers and magnets and bath mats it's like the wildest largest range of products they even offer masks now which is like super cool another great thing about redbubble is that rather than having like one central factory or facility where they make their products they actually source the products 
in the country or region or state that you live in. So like I, I live in Florida. So when I ordered my shirts to do this video and the marketing campaigns and stuff like that, they came from a factory here in Florida, which is great because it supports local business. So if you're in Germany and you order a shirt, your local province is probably the one manufacturing your shirt or your notebook or whatever it is that you're ordering. Another great thing about doing this is shipping costs are way lower. So instead of having to pay international shipping if they were made, you know, in another country from where you live, uh, you're just paying the domestic shipping because it's coming from where you live. It's being made where you are. So that I thought was great and it really helped lower costs and do all that, which was just music. I loved it. I thought it was great. Um, okay, now one thing, one thing about Redbubble is they do not uh, pre-wash their shirts before sending them out. So when you get them, they do have a bit of a vinegary smell. Super simple. You just wash them, you know, in the washer with some cold water, your favorite detergent. I recommend washing them separately the first time you wash them from anything else. And if you order more than one, try to do like dark colors with dark colors and colored with color and stuff like that. Because when I did wash these, they did bleed a tiny bit, not super massive or anything. And I don't think it would stain actually if you wash them together. I just suggest that you wash them separately just to be safe. Uh, but yeah, just one wash and it came out pretty easy. I also hang dry them. I don't use a uh, dryer with them. I think you can if you want to, but I hang dry my clothes anyways. So that'll help keep the designs lasting longer because they are prints and the heat from a dryer will cause them to crack. But that's like any t-shirt that you would go down to the store and buy. So it's not like uniquely these ones. So yeah, um, Redbubble is just a really great option in my opinion. And I think that they made really nice quality items. And I think that they, the way that the prints and everything that I designed came out, just they look so stunning on the shirts and everything that I had made. So I really hope you guys, you know, like them and get to check them out. Like I said, link is in the description so you can go check them out there. And now I'm going to show you some clips of all the, sh all the designs that I made and a little info about them. So enjoy. Now, first up is my iconic shopping Stella design. I have it on a plain black t-shirt because I think that the neon colors really pop on this. It, I love this design so much, and of course you can get it in any color, but I chose black because I think it pops really well. Next up is my floating 80s Frankie Stein design. Now this is just on a plain red t-shirt. I really love it. It gives me such like 70s vibes. The triangles, the geometrics, the circles, the squiggles. It's just a lot of fun. There's a lot going on. And I just really, I like the silhouette of it. This design is my Sippin' Tea Flora design. Now, if any of you guys have been following me since the very beginning of me relaunching my YouTube channel, this was one of my first tutorials that I made. And I found this photo floating around on my computer, and I just thought it worked perfectly as a silhouette design with this cool geometric pattern. And I'm just loving it. So let's see what she orders at her cafe. And this is just on a plain white t-shirt. I think it looks so cool and simple, and it's just a really nice design. And here we have my Neon Knights Laguna Blue shirt. Now this I have on a black long sleeve crew neck t-shirt. I really love this. It's so soft. Now the design is really funky. There's a lot going on. To me, it just screams 80s. There's a ton of different textures going on and just so many colors. And I it gives me a lot of like girls night out vibes. Now we have Interweb Techna. This is a slime green design on a plain purple shirt. I love this design. It is just, it's very simple in construction, but I think it's effective and it really, to me, gets the essence of Tecna across. And I just love the season one Mattel Tecna, so I thought she would be perfect for this shirt design. It's a very neon green. It almost looks like it glows in the dark, which I think would be really cool if it did. <laughs> Maybe in the future, who knows? But I, I think this design is really cool. And again, just another simple, easy to wear design. And this is the Line is Busy Midge design. Now, I this is the very first design that I made when I was doing the whole t-shirt thing. And to me, it just gives me this kind of retro 50s vibe. I really like it. It's got the squares and it's got these 
amazing colors. It's yellow, blue, and pink. And to me, they just go really well together, even though you maybe wouldn't think that they would. But I just think that they look so cute layered the way they are. And again, this shirt is super soft. It's just a plain black t-shirt and I, it's just really easy to style and it's a design that's really easy to, you know, hide into everyday fashion. And I think it's just really cool. And I, I love the silhouette. This is my Bloom's Gradient Fairy Wing design. I love this design. I love it for its simplicity. I love it for the different colors of blue. Blue is like my favorite color, so of course. And I got it on a navy t-shirt. I almost got it in gray. It looks really good on gray shirts as well. However, I decided to just go for the navy because, like I said, I wanted a ton of blue on this one for some reason. I just loved it. Uh, you can get it in gray though, like I said. Looks so good on gray. It's a really cool design. You know, it's the wings that she wears during seasons one and seasons two. And I, I just wanted something to really symbolize those seasons and I feel like this did it pretty well. I love this design. It's one that I wear probably the most. I just wear it everywhere because to me it's it, I just love it. It's a really cool design and I hope you guys like it too. Now along with the t-shirt designs I also had some made in uh, notebooks. So as you can see this is like the bloom wing uh, t-shirt that I showed you guys. I love this so much because the way that the spine is, you get the wings kind of coming on both sides. It just, it looks so cool on a shelf and it looks really cool when you open it up. And even just from the front, it's really nice. Now, this is a flower design that I made based on the flower that Flora wears as a necklace in seasons one and two. And it's, I don't know, it kind of has the same vibe as the wing one where it's like half on one side, half on the other. Again, it looks super cool when it's open and even just plainly like that when it's closed. And I think that they look cool on the shelves together. Here is actually a sticker of the flower so you can see what the full design looks like. You can get this on shirts and other products, backpacks. It looks really cool as a backpack. So there are so many designs you can get these as. I just wanted to have a little variation and see what they look like as notebooks as well because I love to write and I thought this was just like the perfect little thing to do. So yeah, there are these. And then let me show you guys the stickers. Now these are the matte white stickers. They're not the glossy ones or the transparent ones. Although I did order some of those and they do look nice as well, but I put them on my car so I kind of can't show you anymore, unfortunately. So apparently I lied when I filmed that clip because I just found this clip of me actually putting the transparent bloom fairy wing design on my car window. And I think it looks really neat. And I did not lie about that. I really did put the sticker on my car and I think it looks so cool. I've actually gotten compliments on it. And I think that's the wildest thing, getting compliments on your own art. And it was just, it was wild. But yes, this is it. It looks so good as a window sticker. So, so yeah, you should totally do that too. But yeah, the stickers look really cool. They're super vibrant. They're really well made. As far as I know, I think on the website it says they are reusable, so you can like take them off, wash them, restick them to things, which is really cool. So these are all the designs. You can get any design that I make as a sticker. You can also get them as magnets now, which is new, and pins, and masks, and just so many things. So be sure to check them out. And yeah, I really love, I really love this flower design. I think I might order it as a shirt anyways, um, just for funsies. So I think I might do that, but yeah, so these are, these are the stationary things I ordered. Yeah. Okay, so that was all the designs I made. As you know, this is the iconic Stella shirt. It is the second design I made, and I, I just, I love it. I love it. When I was designing, I was very much in a 70s, 80s, retro kind of mind space, and I really wanted to make just cool stuff, cool shit. I wanted to make cool shit, and this, I think, is cool shit. Um, and yeah, so it, it, honestly, if you guys liked it, you know, obviously leave a comment, tell me if you guys liked it. I want the feedback. I want the, I, I want to know what you guys think of them. You know, just let me know if you guys get anything. Oh my God. If you guys buy anything, first of all, thank you in advance. Second of all, post a picture on Instagram, make a video, do something, tag me and I will repost it. I'll share it. I will love you forever. Honestly, like you are in my heart forever if you buy any of these designs. Um, they just, they mean a lot to me and I, I always kind of didn't 100% understand why people are like, oh my gosh, I wear my own art 
all the time. And I'm like, that's a bit, I don't know. I was like, ah, okay, cool, good for you. But now that I, now that I've made, now that I've made my own, I'm like, oh, oh yes, I understand now. It, it is great. It is awesome. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, I, I know I've been gone for a while, I haven't posted a video in like two months, and I apologize for that, I just, you know, life, life gets in the way, and also I was working on these because, um, so the last couple months have been kind of, you know, the down to the wire, like getting the samples, doing the shoots, filming these videos, um, making all that stuff, and it's kind of what preoccupied me. Um, I'm also starting college again this semester, I'm actually in college now. Uh, so that was just a lot going on. Um, while I have my camera set up here, I actually am trying to film a collection, uh, doll room type video, as you can see with my, my beautiful girls here. Um, so that should be hopefully coming out soon. I know I promised it like a year ago, but I just got so many dolls since then and I've redone the doll room, I got shelves, everything looks so good now, and I think that I'm like finally ready to show you guys uh, my doll room. So let me know in the comments if you guys are excited for that video as well. And yeah, like I said, just tag me and everything if you guys buy something. Uh, like I said, it means the world to me. Uh, Redbubble, so I don't put any money down towards the products. I make a commission on each one. So it's not like crazy or, or anything but I just really wanted to produce something and have something out in the world. And I, I noticed that there's not very much Winx merch or really doll related merch, you know, when it comes to adult sizes and uh, adult branding and things like that. So I really wanted to just make something that I personally would wear. And this is something that I, I wear these all the time. Like I, I love them so much. So yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So be sure to check them out. And everything and if you like this video hit the thumbs up subscribe because I'm gonna be posting more videos now I have like so many customs so many customs and the videos are like this close to being done so those will all be coming out soon and I am just so excited to share more with you guys and just have an exciting rest of this year and start of the next year you know fingers crossed it's better and all that and whatever but so yeah until next time guys I really hope you have a great day, a great week, a great month. I love you, Winxers, all of you. Yes, you. Yes, you, the Jack Specific stands. I love you, too. I love you, too. Anyways, until next time, guys. Bye.